delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, The official TV-based instruction of Tagum City. This is Tagum City Division's Deaf and TV Banana. Hello kids, how are you today? I am Teacher Grace and I will be your English for teacher for today's lesson. But before that, do you have your pen, your notebook, and your learning module? That's great! Welcome to English for Module 4 for the third quarter. At the end of the session, you'll be able to get the main idea key sentences and supporting details from the text listened to. Are you ready kids? That's great! Let's start! Before going through our new lesson, let us have a quick review. Are you ready? Let's start! From our previous episode, you have learned about distinguishing general and specific statements. Here's the direction. Identify the general and specific statements from this passage. Dogs have different characteristics. The only glands that dogs have are between their paw pods. Their sense of smell is more than 100,000 times stronger than a human. They can see in the dark due to a special membrane in their eyes called the tapetum lacidum. They have wet noses because they lick their noses and absorb scent chemical so that they can smell better. You have 30 seconds to answer this activity. Your timer starts now. Time is up! Let's check your answer. The general statement is, Dogs have different characteristics. The rest of the sentences are the specific statements because they support the general statement about the characteristics of dogs. Do we have the same answers? Great! This time, let us check if you have prior knowledge for today's lesson. Identify the key sentence and supporting details in the paragraph. Write your answer on your notebook. Chocolate is not a healthy treat. Chocolates contain high amount of sugar. You can find many artificial additives in chocolates. Eating too much of it is not good for your health. You have 30 seconds to answer this activity. Your timer starts now.
time is up. Did you identify the key sentence in the paragraph? What is the key sentence in the paragraph? Hmm, the key sentence is Chocolate is not a healthy treat while the rest of the sentences are supporting details. Do we have the same answers? That's great! Do you want more? Let's try this. Read the paragraph. Identify the main idea, key sentence, and supporting details from the text Listen to. Write your answer in your notebook. You have 30 seconds to answer this activity. Number 1. Mrs. Francisco is the best teacher. She always makes sure that her classroom is clean. When students have questions, she helps them. Sometimes, she rewards students with pens or any school materials. Your timer starts now. Time is up! Number 2. There are steps you must follow in making cakes. When you bake cakes, first, you have to make sure you have all the ingredients. Then, you have to mix them together. Finally, you have to put them in the oven. Timer starts now. Time is up! Let's try to answer. Number 1. What is the main idea and the key sentence? Correct! Mrs. Francisco is the best teacher. The supporting details are, she always makes sure that her classroom is clean. When students have questions, she helps them. Sometimes, she rewards students with pens or any school materials. Number two, the main idea is there are steps you must follow in baking cakes. What are the supporting details? Can you tell me the answer? Very good. The supporting details are when you bake cakes, first you have to make sure you have all the ingredients. Then you have to mix them together. Finally, you have to put them in the oven. Did you enjoy our activity, kids? Wow! It's nice to hear that. You are now ready to learn another lesson. Kids, are you ready for a new lesson? Great! Let's begin! Read the paragraph and answer the questions. Bobo is a mountain boy. He lives in the house near a forest. There are wild animals in the forest. At the age of 12 years old, his grandparents give him hunting tools as gifts. He uses them in hunting wild animals. What is the key sentence in the paragraph? What is your answer? Correct! The key sentence is, Boboy is a mountain boy. Because it talks about the topic of the paragraph. It is what some calls as subject. What is the main idea of the paragraph? Hmm, can you tell me the answer? Brilliant! The main idea is, the life of Boboy at the mountain. Because it tells what the story is all about. 
It answers the questions, what and who. What are the supporting details? The answers are, he lives in the house near a forest. There are wild animals in the forest. At the age of 12 years old, his grandparents give him hunting tools as gifts. He uses them in hunting wild animals. These sentences support the main idea because these tell more about the topic of the paragraph. They give the important details and describe the main idea for better understanding. Do we have the same answer, kids? Excellent! These questions are examples of identifying the main idea, key sentences, and supporting details. Main idea tells what the story, poems, or paragraph are all about. It answers to the questions, what and who. The key sentence is one which opens the paragraph. Mostly it comes in the beginning. It relates to the topic of the paragraph. Therefore, it is also called the topic sentence. What is a main idea? A main idea tells what the story, poems, or paragraph are all about. It answers the questions what and who. While the supporting details tell more about the main idea. They give the important details and describe the main idea for better understanding. How to find the main idea? Before you go through, first, you must read the title. Second, what is the text all about? Third, what is the topic? And during reading, these are the things that you have to remember. Look for and carefully read the text features. Is the text fiction or non-fiction? Look for information, words, and pictures that are repeated. And after you read, these are the things that you have to remember. Think about the most important point about the topic. What details or examples back up and support the main idea? And now, how to find the supporting details? First, identify the topic. Next, identify what the author is saying about the topic. Then, identify the details that support or explain the main idea. Congratulations, kids! Now, you already know how to identify the main idea, key sentence, and supporting details of a paragraph. You have listened very well in our discussion. Let's try this example. Come on and let's explore more. Coconut has many uses. Dry coconut flesh is called copra, and the oil and milk derived from it are commonly used in cooking, frying in particular as well as in soaps and cosmetics. The hard shells, fibrous husks, and long pinnate leaves can be used as materials to make a variety of products for furnishing a decoration. What is the main idea or key sentence? Correct! The answer is, coconut has many uses. How about the supporting details? Very good! The supporting details are Dried coconut flesh is called copra and the oil and milk derived from it are commonly used in cooking, frying in particular, as well as in soaps and cosmetics. The hard shells, fibrous husk, and long pinnate leaves can be used as material to make a variety of products for furnishing a decoration. Did you finally understand the lesson, kids? 
Perfect! Now, it's time for you to try this activity on your own. Read and understand the paragraph carefully and answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer on your notebook. You have 5 seconds to answer its question. Joy is an adventurous girl. She loves to travel the tourist spots in the Philippines. Last year, she climbed Mount Apo, the highest mountain in the Philippines, swam the deepest sea in Mindanao, and visited beaches and caves. Number 1. What is the main idea of the paragraph? A. She swam the deepest sea in Mindanao and visited beaches and caves. Letter B. She climbed Mount Apo, the highest mountain in the Philippines. C. Joy loves adventure like traveling, hiking, and swimming. Letter D. Joy is a girl. Your timer starts now. Time is up! What is your answer? Great! The correct answer is letter C. Joy loves adventure like traveling, hiking, and swimming. Question number 2. What is the key sentence of the paragraph? A. Joy B. Joy is an adventurous girl C. She loves to travel the tourist spots in the Philippines D. She swam the deepest sea in Mindanao and visited beaches and caves. You start answering now. Time's up! The correct answer is letter B. Joy is an adventurous girl. Question number 3. What are the supporting details? A. She loves to travel the tourist spots in the Philippines. B. She swam the deepest sea in Mindanao and visited beaches and caves. Letter C. She climbed Mount Apo, the highest mountain in the Philippines. She swam the deepest sea in Mindanao and visited beaches and caves. Letter D. A, B, and C. Five seconds start. Time is up! What is the correct answer? Wow! You got it right! The answer is letter D. A, B, and C. Question number 4. I have a dog, Lucky. I teach him lots of tricks. When I tell him to sit, Lucky will sit or lie down. He also waves his paw to greet people. When I say, Shake hands, Lucky. He will lift his leg. I don't know how many dogs can do such amazing tricks. What is the main idea of the paragraph? A. Lucky is my dog. B. Lucky is very smart. C. Most dogs can't dance. Letter D. Lucky waves his paws. Your timer starts now. Time's up! The correct answer is letter A. Lucky is my dog. Question number 5. What is the key sentence of the paragraph? A. I have a dog, Lucky. Letter B. Most dogs can't dance. Letter C. Lucky the dog. Letter D. Lucky is very smart. Your timer starts now. Time is up! Kids, what is your answer? Great job! You are right! The answer is letter A. I have a dog, Lucky. Were you able to identify the correct answer in each sentence? 
That's great! Good job, kids! Did you understand now on how to identify main idea, key sentences, and supporting details? Amazing! You are really are smart kids. Now that you fully understand our lesson, let's have a short recap on what we have discussed today. Main idea tells what the story, poems, or paragraph are all about. It answers to the questions, what and who. While key sentence is one which opens the paragraph. Mostly it comes in the beginning. It relates to the topic of the paragraph. Therefore, it is also called the topic sentence. While the supporting details tell more about the main idea. They give the important details and describe the main idea for better understanding. Congratulations kids! We are almost done with our lesson. Now, let us assess your knowledge by answering this activity. Here's the direction. Copy the whole selection. Circle the key sentence of the paragraph and underline the supporting details. Write your answer on your notebook. You have 30 seconds to answer this activity. You can have a copy of this activity from the module given to you. Number 1 Today, I got a new bag. My new bag has a blue sling with white ribbon at the center. It has a rainbow zipper. I decorated it with beautiful patches to make it more attractive. Number 2 Walling Walling Orchid grows wild in trees in the rainforest of the Philippines. This is the rarest species of orchid and it is commonly called Queen of the Philippine Orchid. The blooms are 4 to 6 inches across and are vivid colors of pink, purple, blue violet, and chocolate. Number 3 This is my new friend. Her name is Luz Cruz. She is 30 years old. She is from Tagum City. She is married to Pepe Cruz. Cooking and gardening are her favorite hobbies. She has two children. She is friendly, smart, and brave. Time is up! Let us check your answers. Do you have the same answers with these kids? Yeah! That's great! Congratulations kids for a job well done. You are truly our eager and intelligent learners. Thank you for doing your best in our discussion and activities kids. I hope that you learned something from today's episode. Once again, I am Teacher Grace. And let us take this quote from Malcolm X. Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. That's all for today's episode. Thank you, keep safe, and goodbye!